To the nearest tree? Or this one? To the tree that we got you. Yeah. I try to pick up her feet to make it easier. All three of you, with your combined efforts, strugglingly, but still manage to, somehow, carry this lady all the way over to the tree. It is so hard to see it, but inside the tree, you do see the creature kind of just sitting there. It's almost like, like exactly how its legs are. They blend in with the background only when it wants to. You should probably give some space. I do, um, stop where we're at on the screen. Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting in the grass as I did before. I want to try to inspect the lady. Maybe, like, feel her face a little bit. It feels so human. Exactly like a person. Almost like there's just some shell around her. Alright, this is going to sound strange, but what if... Cutting her open. That's exactly what I was thinking. What if we cut where her eyes would be? Maybe it would help? I feel like whatever is happening is supposed to happen. We just need to wait. Well... Never know. It it doesn't hurt to try. Maybe she just happened to lose some of her senses. Not for. I apologize for being cruel earlier. I just got nervous. I get scared under pressure. Well, it's not an excuse. I do accept your apology. Do you have anything sharp? We're not cutting her open. I feel like that's an awful idea. I feel like we should not do that. Remember that she still is a person. She still very well could feel pain. I know, but I'm not trying to cut her open. I just want to try to maybe cut where her eye would be. Try to see if she has an eye under there. Maybe make it possible for her to see. Because if there is, if she is alive, she is probably confused and possibly scared. Hmm? Our ideas conflict a lot. That is something we'll have to work on. All right, then. So far at every decision, every single decision, without fail, we've had a difference of opinions. Hmm. I say go, you say stop. I say stop, you say go. Something we'll have to work on. First part of solving the problem is getting the tools. It's something we will definitely have to work on. But for now, I'm just gonna keep her laid on the grass, you know, till we can get her to the tree. We're not trying to get. Them. Well, I'm not. The purpose of me coming over here was to meet this creature. Oh. Well. Alright. Well, you can do that. I'm going to try to invest the pond, investigate the pond a little bit more, because I'm still kind of curious. Oh, I'll keep an 
and I out in case you were thinking. So what is it everybody's doing? Eric, we're gonna start with you. I'm looking at the pond, just kind of walking around it, seeing what made it so easy to lift the woman. Looking at the pond, it seems to have a very unusual amount of salt. And I was able to handle all that in my mouth? Huh? <laughs> I'm going to put my head in and see if I can try to look underneath. The salt getting in your eyes does sting, but there seems to be a hole in the middle of the pond. Hmm. I take my head out, kind of gasping for air. Um. Got in my eyes. Um. If there's a hole, then how? Either the water is spilling in, or it's just managing not to get out. We are going to slip, switch over to Nicole. Yeah. Lucas, what would you like to do? I am looking up into the tree at this creature. Just it's just sitting. looking back hey. down at you. It doesn't I'm seem in the not... slightest interested in interacting with you. It's just watching. Hmm. Earlier you were investigating the girl. I'm mostly here to ensure that you are safe. Okay. I want to help. With zero noise, it does just look at you. I just kind of smile and turn around, kind of paying more attention to the girl now. After some time, both of you finish whatever it is you guys were doing. Why don't y'all, in character, talk about some plans and build some ideas for the future? Maybe for the next hour of a session? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. I think it would be fun to investigate the whole. Yeah, I mean, I am interested in where it goes but also interested in how the water is staying because like i said before if you probably didn't hear but either the water is just managing to stay from going in or it's flowing out slowly If it was flowing out, it would probably need another place to cycle through so that the water could return so it doesn't overflow. That's true. However, if it wasn't flowing out, there would probably be a small vacuum-like force pulling down with strong enough winds causing whirlpools. That's true. Anyhow. <laughs> if I threw something in there, it doesn't seem like it would have much effect. Why don't you guys add some stuff to your to-do list? To do list? Uh, my to do list consists of finding just somewhere that isn't a forest. I 
I am trying to find a merchant. At the very least. Are you guys ready to continue? Yes. After a while of inspecting, uh, both of you end up going back to the lady. And this creature does let out a pretty large groan. Did Is you it find up? anything about the lake? Hmm? Did you find anything interesting about the lake? There's a hole in the lake. I'm not sure where it leads. I'm assuming you couldn't swing down. Mm. Or at least did it. You assume what now? Sorry, it's... I assume that you didn't swim down. No, because the salt, you know, hit my eye. I'm still slightly tearing up. Now, I would suggest something, but it's only if you and Angela, right? Angela. Angela. Are okay with it. So, I was thinking, I'm not, I couldn't really tell how big the hole was, but considering that Angela is small, what if Angela swam down the hole? Angelo. Angelo. You hear the plush say. I, Angelo. I happen to be a little dyslexic. Gal, bam. As this creature hops down from the tree and then begins walking away, the bark on this tree starts falling down. Kind of crumbling. Is the tree okay? Inside, y'all see what looks like a person. Another person. Um, walk over. I'm gonna walk over too. And look inside the hole that I created. I'm gonna bring the lady. If you can bring the lady. As the creature does walk off into the distance. The person that falls into the tree looks like this. Or out of the tree looks like this. They hit the floor hard. Ooh. Ooh. You good? I wanted to bring the lady. Okay. Sorry. I don't feel comfortable leaving. Stop picking up a session up! Go! What was in? Hello? Um, loud, covered grunts and, like, shouts as this person starts clawing this, like, trying to claw this stuff off of their face. It doesn't seem like they can talk. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Let, let's calm down. Uh, you, you do right? hear panicked breathing from them. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I try to walk over to them, trying to maybe get them to calm down a bit. And Unicorn? Um, I do something similar, but, um, more so with words saying, Hey, it's okay, you're not in any danger. You're okay. I'm more worried if he can breathe. As you see, uh, the person, like, nodding their head looking at you, and then just point to this thing on their face, on his face, and just starts trying to peel 
it off from this top part here. Is that safe? As it seems to be pulling the skin with it. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I don't know if that's safe, man. As he I'm stops looking sure at that... you. I'm pretty sure that's a part of your face. I don't think you should pull on it. You do that, it could cause serious damage. And the dude starts shaking his head and just looks down. Um, Do you know not... sign language? He shakes his head. Can you see? Nodding. Yes. There's well, a lot of bark around you. Do you think you could write in the dirt? He nods yes. What were you going to say, Eric? Well, can he... He seems quite panicked, and his breathing was heavy. So, can he breathe properly through the stuff? It sounds like it. It, it. it sounds like it. It just seems like... Like it's stuck to his face and he can't talk with it on. Like you can see his teeth protruding out. You actually get, kind of get reminded of Null, um, Ghost. And Null did talk by moving his teeth. Hey. It just can doesn't you? seem like this guy can. Well, maybe his teeth are just a bit stuck the moment because he's been sitting in there for a while do you mean like Noel's teeth didn't move he just learned how to talk with his teeth with his mouth shut no no he was he was he talked normally but his teeth were constantly exposed in that form with the mask on nobody knows what he looks like without it All right, I won't force it, but maybe when he gets a bit more comfortable in his new form, because something tells me that he didn't look like this before, he can try to open his mouth up a bit to where he'll be able to talk. Taking your advice, he does start to calm down as... um. He starts looking around, scrummaging, as he picks up a pair of very thin, thinly framed glasses. As you see his neck shaking, neck and head shaking, as he's trying to pry apart his teeth. It doesn't seem like they're stuck, it just seems like he's having such a hard time moving his jaw. Hey, you don't have to do that now. I just suggest, for right now, you just keep calm. All right, just keep breathing, and we'll figure it out. All right, but he nods. but it's nice to meet you. I'm Ghosty. I'm not sure who she is, but I do know that her bunny is named Angelo. You when see you him. Look at him. He's. You see him right down. Sorry, what? When you look at him, he is an animal. You see the guy nod, and then he writes down James, and an arrow pointing at him. Nice. I do walk over and hold out my hand to offer him a hand up. Um, he holds out his hand, and you see these black covered claws, almost exactly like this. As he tries to close his hand, but his arm starts shaking as he just straight up can't. Using his open hand, I just uh, attempt to pull him to his feet. It's not encasing his whole body, just parts of his limbs. And his head. Are you I able look to him. turn? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, Eric. Well, I was going to say, I want to look in the tree, see if maybe something from inside the tree caused this encasing of his body. 
nothing. Literally nothing. It's just a, a tree with a human figure in it. And that's it. His first functions that he, like, is able to figure back out is walking. He walks extremely stiff-legged, but he's still able to walk somewhat. Well, at least we know he has movement. Are you able to turn your head from left to right? He nods. At least you can take a look-see. Do you think that creature had anything to do with this? I don't think so. Because, from what I remember, it was inside the tree? Or, it was near the tree. It could have caused something. Are you in any pain? He shakes his head. Well, that's good. How long were you in there for, if you know? Uh, he only shrugs with shrugs with one shoulder. Ugh. So you guys just don't know how you got here. Then again, I don't either. He shrugs again. Well, I guess that's a reason for the four of us to stick together. Five. Sorry. Five. I am very curious about Void, though. And if you're wondering why I call her Void, it's because of this. I say as I pull up the, uh, the card that I got from her. I would like to take a look at that card. <laughs> Not with my hands, just with my eyes. Right. Looking at the card, you see this. Oh, that's terrifying. Especially at night, which is when I met her. Why do you think I was kind of scared to be near? That also explains why initially you refused to call her her. Yeah. I mean, when all you see is a figure holding a card that stares into your soul, what much can you really say? But yeah. So, for the time being, I'll call her Void until we possibly find out any other information about her. I say as I put the card back in my back pack. For sure. Is there anything that you two would like to do now? We were going to start heading east. Are you wanting to come along? I say talking to the strange man. He just knocks on the side of his head. It sounds like metal clank. Metal? Yeah, when he knocks on the metal stuff. Do you think we can melt it off? Well, n never mind. Oh. No. He writes in the dirt, trying to melt my face, too. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think out loud sometimes. Apologies. I was just trying to help. But from the way you act, 
something tells me that this isn't how your body was before. And you don't know how it happened. But with her, she always had Angelo. But she doesn't know how she got here. So, I will say, Ghost, you did get one part of your active quest complete. Let's go! Rah! I'm more curious as to how we all got here. Because there has to be a reason. Like. This dude shrugs. Hmm. Yeah. Welp. Off to adventure it is. Seems like a place to start. I'll uh, put the girl on my back and start walking east. Wait, it is James. such a struggle. James uh, walks over and holds out his hand for the girl. Are you sure? He nods. I hand her to him. He starts fireman carrying her. Fireman? Thank you. Waist over both shoulders. Oh, okay. Yeah, start walking east. Perfect. Yep, let's start moving. Beginning to walk east, y'all walk near the pond and just across everything. One tree looks very particular. This one, it seems to have a bunch of small holes in it. Well, Almost I like know. cheese. What were you saying, Eric? I said, well, I already know where I'm going. I say as I head to the tree. This guy starts following. Don't well, forget. I suppose if everybody's going. Hey, uh, you, by the way, don't forget to put the lady on, uh, James' back. Right, my, my mistake. So, it's Eric, fine. do you walk ahead of everybody? I try to. Alright. I'll give you guys a second to talk in character and stuff. We should be nearing the holy tree. Hmm? Tree with holes in it? Feels with very holes in it? shooting. Yeah. Well, from what I have experienced in the past couple hours, trees with holes means pressure inside. So, what's the last treasure you found in a tree with holes in it? James, I also found you. So, you're welcome. That's not treasure, that's people. I was joking about the treasure thing. When I, when you say, never mind. I'm not good at explaining words. But what I'm saying is people are treasured and people are special. And yes, yes, I give up. I cannot speak words.
Would you like to do the honors of examining with me? Yes. Also, you told me your age, but you never gave me your name. You just want me to come up with a nickname for you? Lucas? This has nothing to do with me. I honestly was just really hoping you wouldn't bring it back up. Well. Both of you guys see this round the tree. Round the back of it. I Eric, <laughs> perform a dex and agility check. <laughs> I'm going to die. Dexterity of two, your minimum is a 12 to pass the check. 16 for the dexterity check. Just to notice the, uh, just to notice the actual danger. A large spine comes shooting out of one of the holes of the tree. You see it tipped in this weird, nurturous honey. And finally, an agility check. If you fail the check... One of your teammates are able to perform a saving check, but that would put themselves at risk. Haha, uh -huh. I have my regrets. You have to get a minimum of 14 in order to pass this check. Eight. Which, mean, <laughs> which would mean somebody would have to compensate for six. I want to help. You do? Yeah, my agility is a seven. You do realize right. that there is a chance that they can this can get both of you hurt. I am so sorry. Your agility yeah, is agility a seven. Is seven. You have to get a minimum of six. Twelve. You managed to double it up. Tackling, uh, tackling ghost. The spine shoots out, and reaches to about here. As this large owl bear does begin approaching, you do know that owl bears are extremely aggressive creatures. We need to move. Shit, shit, shit. My bad, my bad. Let, let's move. But they are territorial. Meaning, if you even enter their territory, they'll kill you without question. But the second you leave it, they'll be fine. So where do you two go? Well, southwest. Nicole starts running southwest. I'll I'll just follow Nicole because. Okay, everybody begins running southwest. This is an easy check. You have to get a minimum of ten in order to pass for both of you. Lucas, you failed the check. Damn. And your agility is a what? Me? Yes, Eric. Three. I'm pretty sure. Seven. Uh, the we owl bear fight. does manage to catch up to both of you. Damn. I am so, so sorry. It does not seem happy in the slightest. <laughs> and I am going to flip a coin for the owl bear. I do want to think of any ways to soothe this creature. See if I can remember anything of any. From what your father's taught you, there is no way to soothe an owl bear. They are extremely aggressive, violent creatures. Yeah, that literally one... just kill for fun sometimes. This is the one animal we do not get lucky with. I am going to do backflips off a cliff if we make it through this. But they do have two natural predators. One of which both of you guys see in the sky. As it is circling around. 
Thank God for whatever that thing is. These creatures are also extremely aggressive, but don't kill multiple. Uh, don't kill unreasonably. I do stick both fingers in my mouth and whistle as loud as I physically can. Uh, that will be a distraction check in order to see how well you're able to get this thing's attention. I don't think I have anything in distraction. There is no distraction. I don't think I know how to go, but I think I have something in distraction. What stat should I use in place of distraction? Charisma! Fuck it. <laughs> 21! You far <laughs> exceeded the... P the check of 11. You didn't quite double it up, but this thing does get its attention. This owl bear will try to attack you for two turns, and then you will be able to get out of the fight. That's two turns for each of you. Mm -hmm. So it will try to attack a total of six times. Uh, I'm going to die. <laughs> okay. Both of you guys do know that owl bears don't have any natural abilities, so there's nothing else to worry about besides its claws. Oh, just float away from it. Cool. You want to try and run away from it? I want to try to float like above it. Well, not above it, but like float away from it as fast as I can. The owlbear doesn't even try to chase you as it's left, um, Eric, uh, sorry, Nicole, Eric leaves you and this guy alone to fight the owlbear. Now you'll have to deal with a fight, uh, now you'll have to deal with a total of four attacks. I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't mean you're Aww. out of the fight, Eric, it just means you're not in radius for a fight. I, I, I didn't, I, I... I thought... I'm sorry, Nicole. You can always go back. You lessened, you lessened the attacks from six to four. Also, oh. you got yourself at major. Dang. <laughs> wait, what? Wait. You got yourself out of harm's way and you lessened the attacks from six to four. Okay, so I did something good? Yay. You did very good. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that being said, I will move so that, like, toward James. Alright. As He's the owlbear performs a charge. He's rushing at you guys. And Owlbear's um, stats flat across our five. Mm. Did it roll a three? Or? No. It didn't. I haven't even rolled for it yet. I have to roll for an Owlbear? Yeah, I'll go... I'll, I'll, I'll go... Uh... Southeast to dodge. Oh. Ooh. I'm not going to have to perform I, an agility I, I, attack. Agility check. You can only hurt. Ho <laughs> like you can only hope for five options. Twenty. It goes for a slash at you. It will only be taking. Let's see. Constitution. Okay. So, do you know the way your constitution shield works? No. You don't know the way constitution shield works. Okay, perfect. So, your HP takes half of whatever is rolled. So, if it gets a three for what's left on your damage, you'll only take one and a half. For this, you take exactly what's rolled. So this got a 23, right? Or a 22? 22. Okay. 
So you're now left at 48 Constitution Shield. Meaning that you are able to fight higher diced enemies, but it could come at a higher stake. Since Constitution Shield doesn't regenerate naturally, unlike HP. You have to find something to fix it. Curse you, D&D rules! Okay. It managed to slash at your leg, making a small cut, but it doesn't hurt that bad. James runs out of the fight, limiting the attacks to, to two. Because of how stiff, stiff he is, he can't really move. I can so, see trying to guide um, further northeast. What were you going to say, Eric? I was going to ask, if I try to distract the owl bear, what would that do? I'm that Sorry. would put you in the fight. That would put you back in the fight. Right, but would it take, like, would it add more, um... Right now, Nicole has to survive against two other attacks. It didn't take anything away. So, if you go back into the fight, it'll push it right back to four. Alright, then I'll stay out the fight. So, it is going to do a lunge at you, Nicole, which you have to survive a 15 on a check. Of course, you can always limit how much you have to do based on whatever you decide. The final lunge. Is it like jumping at me lunge? Yes. Yeah. Can I see pixel art again? It's okay, lunging so, at yeah. you. Uh, now I mean I want to dodge northeast. Huh? Northeast. Is the direction I want to dodge. Agility of 7, you have to overpass 15. 22, you manage to effortlessly dodge. As you only have to survive one more attack before this creature fully swoops down. Really worried about the owl bear, I would say, hey buddy, I'd look up. You have to survive one more red pixel. As it does do another lunge. This time it's doing a cross swipe. A cross slash. Like um, an X. Which its dice is a... 21. In that case, I'll go straight back. You'll go straight what? Straight back. 11. Mm. It fully slashes your leg. It hurts like a motherfucker. But your leg, thanks to your constitution shield, does seal. As in a flash of red lightning, this creature is obliterated. It literally, the owl bear just straight up disappears after red lightning flashes. After the red lightning, I hurriedly run over to Nicole. I just start calmly walking back over to the beach. Uh, your walk does turn into a limp as adrenaline wears off. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I... No, no. Like I said earlier, you have a strong sense of self-preservation. You don't want to die. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> I, I still f feel bad, but, like... Is your leg okay? It'll be fine. 
All right. Keep um, flesh wound. I'll just I'll, I'll just try to be more careful, but um, as soon as we find a town or a village or anything, I'll try to get like bandages or disinfected or something. Sorry that I'm going to be slowing us down for a little bit. It's fine. You no. Know, um, I mean, honestly, you don't really expect much from us, do you? I mean, I'm just a little guy, and James is just kind of limp. You guys want to continue east? Do you want to take a second to rest? What would that do? Well, y- well, if you insist that you're fine, I guess. I do ensure but... that I'm not getting any blood on Angel. It's your leg. He's on your shoulder. I know. Mm-hmm. So unless you're doing a bunch of jump spin kicks, no. <laughs> Is... Angelo, okay? Angelo? Angelo, are you alright? You see James just kind of staring at this puppet that you're talking to. James, uh, I need you to. I need you to away from him. His looks right, like we forgot. Crazy. Yeah, we we forgot to explain to James. So, James, no, we didn't. I'll just try to explain it to him. Um, James. So basically, this fella is alive. I say as I carefully pat his head. Um, and. He cannot have you look at him because if you look at him, he can't talk or move or anything. So, in order for him to talk, you kind of got to not look at him. His eyebrows furrow as he tur- turns away. Yeah, thank you. Angel. Yes, I'm fine. Well, that's good to know. At least he's good. At least. I smile, um, and just hug Angelo. Start walking. Continuing to walk, I'm going to end the session. All right.